in the previous part, we configured Zeloda with the uh, required other applications. Now we'll go uh, to install Confi UI. Okay. So we'll go and download Confi UI. Confi UI directly, not uh, work directly on Zeloda. So we'll find an option. So let's search with Confi UI, Zeloda. There is a GitHub repository here for Zeloda. So this is the patient X Confi UI Zeloda. This is exactly the same version of the Zeloda, but it added some extra uh, uh, file that is patch patched Zeluda dot bat. So it will prepare our Confi UI to run on Zeloda. And if you want to install the original version, it's okay but you need to change the some of the structure and you can, I think, uh, search for that and you can do that manually, okay? So, uh, okay, I will show you the manual process also. Let's uh, search with Confi UI Zeluda. And if you go there, Zeluda support. And here is the, the, the uh, you know, options you can find where you need to change everything and the your Zeluda will work. And this version, the configure Zeluda is this patched uh, dot bat file is doing the exactly same thing. So I will go with this. So let's start this and let's open terminal. Uh, I want to work with the command prompt. So here, if I search Python, write Python, you can see the default version is 3.10. Uh, make sure it's 3.10 something because otherwise it will not work. I tried different versions, 3.12, 3.11, it was not working. So let's go to our directory. So here is the, I made the ASD folder. So we go inside the ASD and that's it. Let's search it directory. So you will find the Zeloda here. So just I open the file browser and go there. This is the uh, folder. I want to put all the uh, AI tools inside this. And I also put Zeloda here. So I will also download the Confi UI inside this directory. Okay. So let's uh, copy this and paste it. So let's uh, first put git clone. I will clone the repository and put the link here. So Zeloda, Confi UI Zeloda is downloaded. So go inside Confi UI Zeloda. And here you can see all the files. Okay. So let's uh, install that bat. Let's run this one. So the install.bat is done. And if you go to the, see the download things, you can see it's download a lot of things and it's actually prepared our system for uh, Confi UI. And it's also activate a uh, environment, virtual environment, okay? and updating pitch package. So it does everything and it installed the CUDA version of the uh, PyTorch. So it's actually, it did everything we need. So that's a great thing. Here you can see it's downloaded the CUDA version of the PyTorch. So that's all. The next thing is we need to uh, run the patch file, okay? So if you go to the website, here is the patch zeloda.bat. Basically, it will change few files, okay? So I will run this. So one file is copied, one file is copied, one file is copied. That's it. Zeloda is patched, so that's fine. The next thing is we need to start uh, our config UI. So go here and just paste it. And I want to use... Uh, Zeloda. Sorry, I want to use the listen option so that I can, I uh, you know, uh, 
browse it from local network. So let's start. And by the way, the first time it'll take a long time. Okay. PY is a Luda directory and then run the start bat. So it'll again download some dependencies and configure everything and it will take it time actually. So I will fast forward it. Okay, so our conf UI is started. So if you see the command, command prompt, you can see the Zeloda is detected. So our Zeloda configuration is perfect and device is zero AMD Radeon. So that's great. It is actually uh, getting all the uh, information from Zeloda. So that's all. And if you see here, it's also installed the ConfUI Manager. So that's a great thing. You don't need to install ConfUI Manager separately here. So let's open the link. And here is the ConfUI. It is running inside uh, Windows. And it's let's uh, open the Task Manager. And here, if you go to the process and click on the GPU, you can see the GPU usage here. Okay, so first let's uh, go to the manager option and install some models here. So I really want to use the SDXL version. Let's see. Okay, so here is the SDXL base with V. I will go with this first for the checking. So I will click install. So it will download the model. And if you go to the terminal, you can see the progress. Okay, so the model is downloaded. It's almost seven gigabit. So let's close it, close it and uh, refresh it. And you can see the load checkpoint. It's showing the SDXL base. If you click here, you can also say, so show, see, see this. So let's uh, make a uh, prompt here. I don't like the bottle one, so I will change it. And let's put photo realistic. Let's check whether it can generate something good for us. And here I just click on the Q prompt. It'll take a long time for the first time. Be careful. And you can see the dedicated GPU memory here. So it'll show you whether we can we are using the GPU or not. So basically it'll take a long time for the first time, okay? Okay, so it took me almost uh, 20 minutes and it's the prompt executed in 1018 seconds the first time. So let's check the picture and it's, it's really beautiful. Whether you believe it or not, this is really beautiful picture. I really like this. So let's start uh, another prompt and check how long it will take. Okay. So I'm just opening it here and also we'll see the dedicated memory usage. A white boat, just change it a little bit. Let's start the prompt and let's see how long it will take. So you can see it takes uh, 89.45 seconds and 3.89 iteration per second. That's really good. Let's uh, generate another one quick. And it's it's pretty fast. You can see it's only take 5.76 seconds to generate this picture. And I, I will delete this, change this a little bit. Okay, let's start. And it is now working pretty fast. In my opinion, this is one of the best solution for Windows. And now let's check it a little bit differently. I want to make it 1024, the width and the height 576. So it should be 16 by nine. Let's see how it works. And it's pretty fast. I'm extremely happy with this. You can see Sorry, it, it, it didn't change. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So let's change it 1024 and 1576. It should take a little bit more time. 
but no, it's it's actually working pretty fast. Yeah, the iteration per second is a little bit low, like almost one low, but it works pretty fast. I'm impressed, okay? So that's all for today's video. You can now run Confi UI with um, moderate speed, I, I should say, on your Windows computer using uh, Windows computer with uh, AMD GPU, of course, with Ziluda, a great thing. And hopefully you can uh, try these and you will get it useful. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It'll be very helpful for me to grow this channel. And have a great day.